Hey everybody, it's Sid Bolton here, Canada's top video game collector and the curator of the Personal Computer Museum. And today, I am playing a new game called The Council. And uh, this is actually uh, episode one. Uh, this is a uh, five episode series. Of course, a lot of games are going episodic these days. This one is... Uh, is no different, but it is a little different in other ways. Uh, as you're seeing now, the graphics are starting up here in France right now in the beginning of the game in 1792. So this takes place uh, quite a while ago, actually. And um, as you can see from the graphics, the graphics are interesting. You know, facial animations in video games are really a lot tougher uh, than we realize. And so... Um, it's interesting because this game, uh, at first I was I was set a little bit back by the graphics. I'm thinking, okay, the graphics maybe aren't um, as good as something that uh, something newer that's come out. But actually, they are really good. Um, the style, once you get used to the style, I think uh, you'll appreciate this. And um, so this is a, a narrative adventure game. So instead of being uh, something that maybe you uh, control in sort of a more traditional way, this is actually a mix of a different bunch of gameplay styles into one. So, um, but it, at the same time, it's it's very narrative driven. So, um, as you sort of watch the story and let it unfold, it's actually <laughs> somewhat difficult to, uh, you know, you, you can't help but get sort of wrapped up in what's going on and just watching it as a movie and then realize that you have to actually do something. So, the game is full of different uh, choices that you have to make and basically you know um, it's it's a little bit different than quick time events because the style in which you make these decisions changes as the game goes on in fact uh, this game is actually believe it or not uh, an RPG at its core and yet at the same time doesn't play out like a traditional RPG ah, that really looked like it hurt um, so, as you're playing along, you will make a decision, and we've got one coming up here in just a second. And um, that decision will basically affect the rest of the gameplay. Now, that's not unusual for games like this, that your decisions have consequences. But what's interesting about this game is that uh, these decisions will actually carry forward and have either short-term, mid-term, or long-term consequences. So depending on uh, what the choice is, uh, that actual choice is going to have an impact on the game later on. And although it is five episodes, um, there's actually essentially a conclusion to uh, each one, uh, and then there's, of course, your decisions do carry forward into the other episodes. Now, I've Let's only uh, played episode one so far, and as of the time I'm of recording this, is the only episode that is currently available, so I can't speak to the entire uh, game, but what I can tell you is what I have played so far, I've really, really enjoyed. I do like games like this. Um, be prepared to uh, play this game over and over again. Um, so coming up here now, you can either sort of act or trust her. So I have chosen to trust her in this particular case. So now what has happened is, is you've actually unlocked a trait. So not only have you made um, a decision, but you're actually building your character essentially. So instead of uh, a traditional RPG where you might have a bunch of uh, class choices um, and then pick your attributes, you actually pick your attributes um, as you play based upon the decisions that you make. And I've never really seen that style uh, in a game before. And um, a little bit later on, you actually get to, to choose um, essentially your class, what kind overall, what kind of a, a, a person you are in this case. And so um, that is just a, an interesting thing. And the choices that you make are not just simple. Uh, in this case, I had two choices and I had to you know, move to the one or the other. There are time-based choices. So there are things that happen that maybe you have 10 seconds to make a decision. Um, you also have 
the ability to make blunders and you know only have you know so many of those blunders available to you um, so that's kind of interesting as well now the story does jump here um, from this sort of scene that played out with our mother um, you've been invited to uh, Lord Mortimer's island uh, so this is an isolated island which of course um, is a great you know gameplay mechanic to uh, limiting the size of the environment so basically we're on this uh, this island that only has a certain limit and if you think this game is just about making choices uh, as a narrative uh, plays out that's not true you actually do get to uh, control your character and move the camera so although a lot of uh, the game is essentially cutscenes like we're seeing right now uh, you can actually well uh, play the game and you move around in the game moving around and there's actually combat in the game as well they are relatively limited but uh, they do exist in the game and this is definitely one of those games where you're going to want to play this game over and over again uh, when even when you do get to the conclusion because you as I said your choices do matter and the things that you do do change the outcome of not only the individual episodes but then those outcomes then change the outcome of the overall game so there's not just a few branching choices here there's many many branching choices so that is something that you're going to want to consider with uh, playing this game over a few times so um, i've been really really enjoying it so far um, like i said the initially the graphics i wasn't sure about but as i played um, more and more I really got to uh, like the art style and especially if you like you know sort of the the older style stuff and, and I don't mean technology wise but I mean like this obviously takes place in the late 1700s so if you like that kind of thing then you're you're really going to enjoy this game and uh, yeah and so it's really really interesting so uh, I'm just gonna be quiet for a little bit as uh, some of the gameplay plays out right here well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Your Eminence, with all due respect, I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here myself. I promise it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is really related to the legendary parties organized by our host. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of silly one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. choices I've been making so far have been pretty That's simple right. um, Until now, but uh, just in terms of you know basically two choices here and there uh, but the game does give as I mentioned earlier a lot more uh, choices uh, as you go and sort of much more big consequential choices you might say so um, you know what you're seeing here so far uh, I just wanted to show you sort of the early parts of the game so this is literally um, the first 10 minutes of the game uh, and uh, you know there's a lot more to it um, so if you're interested uh, in finding out more about this game the council I would definitely encourage you to try it I'm playing it here on uh, Xbox one but it is also available currently on ps4 and uh, the PC as well and of course another uh, somewhat uh, traditional gameplay mechanic here is we're actually uh, having flashbacks, the characters oh, having flashbacks. And um, it's interesting, you know, so? overall the thing is is that this is a okay, sort of a murder done. mystery kind of a, a story. So if you like that kind of thing, um, then you're going to like this game, obviously, from what you're seeing here. It's not necessarily um, intended for the youngest of children, but uh, that's okay. Um, the actual story and how it plays out has been very very interesting and I'm enjoying it so far um, now I can only uh, rate the game based upon the uh, the one episode that I've played so far but um, I you know I'm finding it intriguing the uh, the gameplay is a style that I like and uh, oh this is gonna be something really really scary here I'm gonna give this a seven and a half out of ten I hope you check it out no! 